Very complex. Okay. So the Gemara says, Amarami on the bottom of Tzadi Aleph Amubit. Amarami Barhama Rami Barhama said, Reuven Shemachar Sadeh Shimon. If Reuven sells a field to Shimon, Shelo Ba'acharayut without responsibility. Ve'ata Ba'alchov. Ve. Ve'ata Shimon. Shimon came. So Reuven sells a field to Shimon, and he told him, if somebody takes it, if somebody takes it because of me or because of somebody else, I'm not responsible. I'm not taking responsibility for the fact for the fact that you that you uh, that, that 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 was my fault that it got taken or whatever. The Ata Shimon Machral Uven. Shimon came and he sold it to the Uven. So Shimon is a wild thing. Shimon bought the field from the Uven without a Harayut. He sold it back to the Uven with a Harayut. So if anybody takes it, Shimon will pay him back the money that he's paid to him. The Ata Baal Sonel. The Ata Baal Chov did Uven. The Baal. What? Where was it? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. The Ata Baal Chov did Uven. Oh, he's on the one here. The Ata Baal Chov did Uven. The Katarif Lemine. Ruven's Baal Chov. So the, the field went back to where it was. But it took a detour in the middle. In that the guy, the guy in the middle accepted a Harayut if anything happens. Right? So Ruven owned it. Sold it to Shimon without a Harayut. So if anything happens, he has no recourse. Now Shimon sold it back to Reuven with a Harayut. So Reuven is, Shimon is now responsible for the field that belongs to Reuven. Reuven's old Baal Chov that he had before the original sale comes and he takes it. Right? Ata Baal Chov did Reuven the Katarif Lemine. Reuven's Baal Chov came and took it from him. Jack, bring the, uh, the chalk. No, we need the, uh, the blackwood. Right? So, and, and, uh, and the marker. Right? Reuven's Baal Chov comes and takes it. Now, Reuven's Baal Chov is further downstream than the original sale of Reuven to Shimon. It's for sure further downstream than the sale of Shimon, the sale of Shimon to Reuven. Right? And yet, um, Rami Barhama says, Dina hu da azil Shimon. Dina hu da azil Shimon um Shimon now has to pay Reuven. Shimon has to pay Reuven for the field, even though it's Reuven's own Baal Chov that took it. Since he sold it without a Harayut, so he's not responsible, and Shimon is responsible for anything that happened even from before. Because, for example, like this. Let's say, let's explain like this. Let's say, let's say you have Reuven, Reuven owns the field. He sells the Tishimon without a Hariyut. Right? Shimon sells it to Levi with. Is he allowed to sell with that Hariyut? No, he doesn't. He what? Doesn't You're allowed to sell it. It's your deal. Right? Shimon sells Levi with a Hariyut. Now, Reuven's Baal Chov comes and he takes it from Levi. Of course, Shimon has to pay for the field, right? He guaranteed the sale. Ah, you bought it from Reuven without a Hariyut, you sold it with a Hariyut. That's the risk that you took. You took a risk, you bought it without a Hariyut, just like you took the risk yourself. You took the risk with that side. The fact that you took a Hariyut, you made, you take a premium when you sell with a Hariyut. You sell without a Hariyut, you pay. What's the big deal? You took a risk. Right? So for sure he's going to have to pay Levy back and he can have no recourse to Reuven. So now instead of Shimon selling it to Levy, he sells it back to the Uven with a Harayut. So just like he would have to pay Levi if the Baal Chov of Reuven takes it from Levi, Levi is now Reuven. We just switched to that's a hut. What's the big deal? You have to pay Reuven. So fantastic. Reuven is making money on his Baal Chov taking the field. Right? Rashi. The Ata Baal Chov did Uven. Shaya Shtaro Kodem. The Baal Chov of Reuven, whose star was before the Mechira Rishona, his star predated the first sale of Reuven to Shimon. Shemachra Reuven to Shimon. The Ilu Baal Matzabi at Shimon. If he came and he found that Shimon was still owning it, Hachinami Avit Hachit, 
Hachinamia, he would still take it. Dina, who? The Azil Shimon Umavtsile. Shimon has to pay Reuven. Keshem Shilu Mechara Shimon Ze. Leisha Herba Harayut. Just like Shimon is all to another guy, to a lady with a Harayut. Ubaba al Hov de Reuven and Reuven Val Hov came. Vitor Fani would take it. Haya Shimon Mefatsehu, Shimon would have to pay him. Veal. The Al Reuven, Lo Yuchal Hazori, can't go back to Reuven. Share, Kishem, Share, Lo Be Aharayut, the Kahai Menu. He sold him without a Harayut. Kah, Kishem, Harayut, the Reuven, Atzmo, just. What's the difference, Levi or Reuven? It's just a different name. You have to pay him back. Hamaler Avar Avar says, Nihi, the Aharayut, the Alma Kabil Ale, Aharayut, the Nafshe, Mi Kabil Ale. Says when Shimon sold it to Reuven with a harayut, don't tell me it's the same as if he sold it to Levi. He meant if at once once the field makes a detour by Shimon, right? So any Baal hold of Shimon, right, that he has from before is now going to get involved and could take the field when it goes back to Reuven, right? So the fact that I bought it from you. Right, the fact that I bought it from you now introduces a whole new, a whole new group of baalehov. Right, there's a whole new class. There's the class A baalehov, who are baalehov did uven. Now a whole new group of lien holders are introduced onto this field, the baalehov of Shimon. Right, so when Shimon's selling, if Shimon is selling it to Levi, then he's going to be guaranteeing against the class B and the class A. Because that's all, that's all his responsibility towards Levi. But when Shimon is selling it to the Uven, you can't tell me, oh, I'm the same as Levi. I was never intending to sell it back to you to ensure you against your own Ba'alehov. Just because it took a detour by me. So what am I insuring you against? Class B Ba'alehov. The guys that are coming because of me. Why did you sell your back for Times have changed. Shimon Reuven made a good investment in the stock market with the money he got from Shimon. Now he wants his field back. He says it was my grandpa Shiddo's field. But what do you want about the class A Reuven sold with, with, with a harayu, yeah? Reuven sold without a harayu. Uh-huh. So if, if they take it from Shimon, Shimon has no recourse to Reuven. Now Shimon sells it back to Reuven with a harayu. Okay. So if he would have sold it to Levi with a harayu, it would have included class A and class B. Why? Who's class A? Reuven has, has class but, A. But he's not a harayu. Shimon's ba'avo doesn't make a difference. It's class B, right? If I sell it to Levi with a harayu, and not my ba'avo comes to it, I, I took a harayu on anything before me. I'm guaranteeing you this field. Anyone takes it, that's what Baharayut oh, is. In, I'm, you think I'm only taking a from my Baalei I bought it with a, with a, what's it called? I what checked about? title, there was nothing. There was no uh, call, there's no Baharayut. No, no, a Harayut doesn't mean that. Case, there was no title check, you're going to check, you're going to know every lien in the world? That's, that's okay, you're gonna, no, it's not. You can't know every lien in the world. The guy could have made a loan in China, Be'edim, and the, the call didn't hit you. And the call is, is real? What? No. The call, one second. The guy signed Be'edim, that we assume the call goes to the whole world. I mean, we could assume so, because we want it to be a concept of a harayu, but it's not foolproof. When I bought it, it was without a harayu. Right? I bought it without a harayu, true. But I accepted a harayu to you. When I accept a harayu to the next guy, it's full of harayu. Uh, only had before. Uh, Special yeah, My, uh, He didn't do that. That means there's nothing before. A harayu means every no. Buying with that means that means I took a risk. When you buy with a harayu, you know what? You pay fifty percent less. It's like buying a junk bond. Right? You buy. You buy it. So the guy, he's going into a, into an arbitrage deal. He buys it fifty percent discount. And he sells He's them. He sells it right, right. and he sells it full price with a harayut. Uh, he figures, yeah, over fifteen years I'm going to lose some, but in the end I'm going to make more on what I. Uh, maybe that's what it is. You want me to make your business plan? It, that's the business plan. I don't know why he did what he did. Even if he goes through ten hands, and in the middle of one of them is without a harayut, he can go all ten hands against the last one. Anybody that takes it. You have to pay for it. The chidush of Rava is the chidush of Rava is that when it goes back to the Uven, I only intend to insure against Class B, not Class A, only against my Baalehov.
but Rava agrees in another case. Rashi, one say, Nida haru da alma kola orim aleha. Shilo me hamar ruven ki bel aleha shimon. A haru de navshe. Eru rabalo me hamat atmo, he didn't accept. Umoder uven, uven agrees. Moder ava, Rava agrees. Be uven, she yarash sadem yaakov. Uven inherited the field from his father Yaakov. Umachra le shimon. And he sold it to Shimon Shilo be Aharayut. Ve'ata Shimon umachra le Ruven be Aharayut. Ve'ata ba'al chov di Yaakov e katarif leminem. Dino da azul Shimon umavci leminem. Ma'i ta'ama ba'al chov di Yaakov ke ba'al chov di Alma Dami. So the case is now like this. Right? You have Yaakov. He's the father. He had a field. He gave. He died, and he was. And Uven, Uven was Yorish. Uven sold it to Shimon without a hari. Right? Shimon went and sold it back to the Uven with a hari. Right? Now Yaakov's Baal Chov will call Class C. Right? The Uven's Baal Chov will call Class A again, and Shimon is Class B. Right? So now, again, if Shimon would have sold it to Levi, even if he came and took it, he came and took it, he came and took it, A, B, or C, he's going to pay. Right? No. Levi bought the field. Shimon sold it to him with a harayu. If A, B, or C take it, Shimon's going to pay him back. Right? The money he gave me, I'm going to pay him. But now Shimon sold it through Ben. Brother said, I, Shimon, am only insuring against... Class B, if there's class D, class F, I'll insure you against all of those. Nothing back. But I'm not insuring you against A, your own people. What about Yaakov's guy? Is he saying I'm not insuring against anything that's before you? Or am I saying I'm not insuring against yours? He says, no. Dina who? Then I have to pay for Yaakov. Yaakov's Baal is like any other Baal Hov. I'm only, Rav is not saying it's anything before you. I'm not insuring you against the Baal Hov that you should have paid yourself. That I'm not insuring you. The class B, class A ones that you should have paid yourself. You were the guy on the on the note. I'm not insuring you against yourself. You shouldn't be paid for Yaakov. No, Yaakov is not even Reuven. Yaakov, so if, if Yaakov, if a C guy comes and takes it from Reuven, I'll pay you. Because we don't say it's anything before me. I don't say I'm not insuring against anything anything upstream. I'm not insuring against your guys. Yeah. So, 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 A, he's Yaakov. not, not insuring Yaakov. Yaakov is bad. You know, I mean, Yaakov, people, Yaakov. He's insuring against Yaakov. Because that's the last one in the Gemara. Again, Modera va beruven. Shiarash Yaakov. Umechara le Shimon, he sold it to Shimon. Shelo ba'acharayut. Without responsibility. Same thing. Ve'ata Shimon umachra le Ruven ber'acharayut. Ve'ata ba'al chov the Yaakov. Ba'al chov the father came. Ve'katarif le'e from his son. Dina hu da'azil Shimon umavti le'mine. Shimon has to pay him back. Ma'i ta'ama ba'al chov the Yaakov. The ba'al chov of Yaakov. Ke ba'al chov de Almadam. He's like an outside ba'al chov. Ve'ata ba'al chov the Yaakov. Yaakov God gave it to Uven. Uven sold it to Shimon with a Harayut. Shimon sold it back to Uven with a Harayut. So now Shimon. This is first. This is second. One, two, three. We go from top down. Okay, like Rashi says. Kibal Hov de Alma. The guy coming now because of Ella. Mechamat. Mishimach. 